Buddhist monks, monasteries, and smartphones. The Himalayan kingdom of Bhutan was the last country in the world to get television. That happened in 1999, but now the country is making up for lost time as it embraces technology to reach beyond the surrounding mountains. We can make many friends from outside also, and just to communicate with them. Plus, we have our cousins in outside countries, like Nepal, and we can easily chat with them. But if we don't have internet facilities like Facebook, then we cannot communicate with them. Bhutan is famed for its gross national happiness development model that takes into account criteria like nature and cultural conservation. But the country's prime minister says technology can help development. There's a boom because why? The technology is not disruptive. It is good and it can contribute to prosperity for Bhutan. The change of lifestyle has coincided with a dramatic change to the political system. In 2005, the country's king ceded absolute power and two democratic elections have since followed. Observers say the internet is already playing a crucial role. 80,000 Facebook users and increasing every day. That gives you an idea of uh, how popular the internet has become in such a short time. And a lot of, uh, uh, not only for meeting people, but it's, it's being used like in other countries to create awareness, to, for act, for, to campaign on certain issues, to um, influence the government. About three quarters of Bhutan's population of 750,000 now own a mobile telephone. A giant step for the land of the Thunder Dragon as it moves directly from feudalism to the modern age.